Hello, this is Jacefer here, and I'm going to be bringing to you another LEGO tutorial, and today we're going to be building this basic blue little truck. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to make a LEGO, or a chassis out of LEGOs for our truck. So we're just going to take one of these 2x16 black pieces, or plates. I'm going to stick two wheels that look like this, here at the front. And then I'm going to take two of these other wheels them right here. Kind of offset things here a little bit. <clears throat> this is where the engine's going to go. This is the bed of the truck. Okay. Now, take one of these uh, 2 by 10 dark gray plates, place it here in the middle, and we're just doing that for strength because I want to level, start leveling things off. The next thing we're going to take a 2x4 white plate, stick it here at the end. So it looks something like this. And the next thing we are going to do is we're going to take make the steps to the truck. Not the steps, never mind. You're going to take one of these um, 4x12 plates, stick it on here like so. Leave it offset by one stud. We need to have something to attach our bumper to. And one of these 4x6 plates, stick it on here like that. So now we got our chassis to our truck. Now we're going to come in, we're going to put the step sides on it. So we're going to take one of these 2x8 um, plates and one of these 1x8 tracks, stick it on here, something like that. We're going to make two of these, so we're going to stick them under here. Set them under here. Something like that. It gives you that nice step side pickup look. And we're going to make one more of those. Okay. Now, we're going to come in, we're going to put some steps here. We're going to take a 2x3 white plate and a 1x2 track. Set it on there like that. Stick it on here at the edge. Same thing goes to the other side, just in reverse. So I'm just going to take this and a track piece. Okay, something like that. Now, we need to put the bumper on the back. So we're going to put our rear bumper. So one thing we're going to do when we make our rear bumper, we're going to need to take one of these weird brackets Looks something like this. Stick it like that. Then we're going to take some 1x2 plates, stick them on the corners. What we're doing, we're trying to level everything off. Um, trying to find the other one here that just rolled away. There it is. Kind of like that. Let's go ahead and build our bumper real quick for the back. Take a 1x6 gray plate. I'm going to take a 1x4 smooth tile, stick it on here like so. It looks like that. And I'm going to take two 1x1 transparent plates, red ones. Stick them on here for brake lights. Then we're simply just going to stick this on the back. And then we have a nice bumper for our truck. <clears throat> there you have it. There's our chassis for our car, or for our truck. All right, now we're going to start building the sides of the pickup. So let's start again. Let's get started. Um, we're going to take some of these corner pieces here. Looks like a two by two brick, but it's a corner inside corner. Let's we'll stick it here at the where the bed's going to be. And then we are going to simply take a 1x2 block, stick it like so. Now, notice the um, spot right here. We're going to put wind, uh, wheel wells here that kind of look like this. Now, that looks really nice. We're going to do that. Now, there are some questions about it. If I stick a 
block in here like this. That looks fine, but notice my wheel does not move. You can see inside there that this block is actually hitting the wheel. And I don't want that. I want this to be a working car. So I'm going to take one of these 1x2 inverted slow pieces, stick it inside like that. Notice there's no hole, and the wheel still moves. It's got a nice finished look, even on the inside. So basically we're going to come around. We're going to start putting all our pieces here. Take another one of these 1x2, or I mean these 2x2 inside corners, place it inside like that. So you got this recess. It looks good like this. Um, this is going to be our bed for our truck. <clears throat> Another uh, wind, a wheel well here. Whoops, sorry about that. And we'll stick some more of these inverted tiles. Something like that. It's going to look better as it goes. Take one of these 1x2 uh, blocks, kind of place it in there like that. 1x4 block, stick it on here. This is going to be where our doors I do not have car doors, so I have to use these, unfortunately. Um, more inverted uh, slow pieces. The 1x2s go there. And I know I have one runner somewhere. I found it. We'll stick that window. We'll, we'll stick that wheel well there. Another one of these here. Wheel well here. There we go. Now we're going to take one of these big old uh, two by four blocks, stick it inside, and a two by two block. We got our cab of the truck. Got our bed of the truck, and now we're getting ready to put our engine in our thing. So we're going to take a one by two plate, or I mean a, a, a one by four plate and a one by two small plate. These are dark gray. Just piece them together like that. Stick it on the edge here. There you go. There's the lower half of our body of our truck. So we're going to get ready to start on the um, hood and the trim on this. Okay, now we're ready for the front part of our truck. First thing we're going to need to do is we need to take a 2x6 plate, white plate. We're going to make a bumper. And two of these special brackets kind of look like this. Place them on here. One on each end. So it kind of looks like that. And what we're going to do now, we're going to take a 1x6 regular gray plate, stick it on the front. So now we have a nice bumper, but I like to have my stuff finished off. I'm going to take a 1x6 smooth plate, put it on the front. Now I got this nice smooth bumper. Now I'm going to take some of these metallic grill pieces. I'm going to piece them here. This will give my grill a nice finished look. And then we're going to take some one by one clear glass plates, snap them on the front, now we're ready to attach the bumper to the front of the car. Well that's easy, that's why I have this plate here as a guide, snap this on like so. Nice finished bumper. Now you're going to need to take a 2x6 uh, blue piece. We're going to stick it right about here. So just kind of lay that down. Now we're getting ready to put the actual hood on our car. We're going to need six 1x4 slow pieces that will kind of look like this. And we're going to start piecing them on the front. Just grab a whole bunch. I just need six for mine. Kind of 
kind of like that. Looks really good, smooth. I like that. Turned out real good. We're going to come in here. We're going to level the chalk with this truck out with some blue um, pieces. So where do I start? I just start piecing things together that work. If you have longer pieces, the better. I don't have a lot, so I just grab whatever I can to put this thing together. So I'm just going to come here and level this whole thing off with blue. You can use any color you want, but I decided just to have a two-tone pickup. So we're just piecing it all together. Cover everything up. Now, what we're going to do about this, we need to put some grills here, because I like to have more of a realistic truck. I'm going to take some of these blue 1x2 grills. Take three of those in total. We're going to put those right here, right by the windshield. I've seen most trucks have this, so why not? It kind of looks like that. And we need to level it off for the windshield. So I'm just simply going to come in here. Like that. Take a 1x6 plate. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to take some 1x2 tiles, stick them in here for a little armrest. So it kind of looks like that. And I'm just going to take some 1x2 plates here and a 1x4. Place it in here. This is going to be for the back part of the cab. And then simply, I'm just going to come in here, tile around the uh, bed, with some tiles. I left these open on purpose because we're going to take some of these one by one sloped pieces that look like this. Stick them in here. And there you have it. Now let's start finishing up on the inside of the bed and on the cab. So one thing I like to do is I like to finish the inside of my bed. This does not look good with these holes. So one of the things I'm going to do is we're going to make four things to cover these holes up. Take two one by one. We're going to take several of these one by one plates. You're going to stack this together. Just take two one by ones, white plates. And I'm simply going to take a one by one slope piece, set it on the top. Kind of looks like that. Covers that hole up nicely. You don't see that anymore. We're going to stick a smooth tile on the top. And we're basically going to come in, make four more of these. Covering it in, just fill it all in. Now I know I'm getting close to the end, I'm running out of pieces. <laughs> so we're just going to come in, do the same thing on this side. I do not like working with little pieces, but it gives you more detail. Okay. Now we're going to come in, we're going to tile the inside of this, as this does not look pretty nice. So I'm just going to take some smooth tiles. There's a one by two smooth. I'm just going to piece those in on the corners there. Kind of like that. Then we're going to take some one by eight smooths. Stick them inside. There you go, it's all finished up inside. The cam, now we need to put some stuff in there. We need to put a, some seats, a dashboard, and we need to put a steering wheel in there. First thing we're going to do is make the steering wheel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of these pieces, a steering wheel, just a simple steering wheel. Take a plate, put it underneath. You can just simply set this inside. So it kind of looks like that. 
the dashboard I'm just going to take one of these ridged pieces one, one by two ridge blocks and I'm going to take a one by two uh, slope tile place it on top like so put it inside got ourselves a nice little dashboard so it kind of looks like that, it looks pretty cool so now we can put the seats in, the seats I'm just going to set in like so And there you have it. There's our interior for our truck and our hood and our bed. Okay, let's finish up this truck. We're actually going to finish the cab. So one of the things we are going to do, we are going to come in. We're just going to take some simple glass block. Um, these black glass blocks here, you can use anything you want. I'm just going to use these. They kind of look like that. I'm just going to use these for the back window of the cab. And I'm just going to take some of these um, 1 by 2 blocks, stick them together. And i put them on the sides. Just put those together. Something like that. And we're ready to put the windshield. I'm just going to use a 2 by 6 windshield. This is a 10 in one. Stick it on top of the truck like this. Then we're almost done. Now we got to build the top of the truck. So we're going to basically take the um, looks like a hood or a cab. And one of the things that I'm going to do is we're going to take a one by six plate and we're going to stick it on the back here. kind of looks like that. Now we're going to take the, the uh, top of the cab. We're going to put four little round clear yellow plates on here. Kind of look like this. Makes it look like they have lights on the truck. I just thought this would be kind of cool to finish it off. Stick it on the top like so. And I have a 1x6 smooth tile. And I'm just going to stick on here. There you have it. A nice small pickup truck. Uh, does fit one figurine. I try to fit two and I don't have to redesign it. But a few of you guys were asking for a tutorial on this. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching my t tutorial. Add, like, comment, subscribe. I do subscribe right back. And subscribing lets you know when I actually upload new videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.